Hi there, my name's Andy. I'm one of the wine specialists based here at the Waitrose in John Lewis, Oxford Street. Today is day seven of English Wine Week, and today I'm gonna to try with you uh, sparkling wine from Sussex, from Breaky Bottom, uh, an unmistakably English name, I think, for a vineyard, uh, although the name's been in use since the time of the Doomsday Book. Uh, Peter Hall planted uh, Breaky Bottom with Saval Blanc uh, back in 1974 and initially he produced uh, still wines. In fact, his 1990 still Save Our Blanc uh, won a gold medal at the 1993 International Wine Challenge. But um, by 1995, uh, he was producing sparkling wine and his first cuvee was released in the year 2000, named for his mother. And uh, this is something he's carried on um, through every vintage since. Every cuvee has been named for a friend or a family member. And the Peter Christensen, um, who is uh, commemorated on this label, uh, is not the international footballer that you'll find when you look it up in Google, uh, but the interstellar physicist of uh, the University of Sussex, uh, an Australian who is a close friend of uh, Peter's. Uh, the wine is 100% Save Blanc, uh, that is a great variety uh, which you might need uh, to look up. So I've got my big book out. Uh, this is Wine Grapes. Uh, it's written by Jancis Robinson and her team and it really it's, it's the authority. If you want to know uh, the origins of a grape, if you want to geek out on your wine, this is the book um, to have. And if you ever get bored reading it, you can use it as a weapon. It weighs a ton. Um, so what's Jancis got to say about oh, Save Our Blanc? Okay, it's a hybrid. So it's a cross between uh, a European wine vine and uh, a non-vitis vinifera uh, vine, uh, which has been, they've been bred together to uh, create a vine with great disease resistance. Uh, and um, the idea is that it'll uh, ripen a little earlier as well. Um, it says here, uh, Saval is authorized in many French wine regions, but perhaps tellingly recommended in none and not allowed in the production of quality wine in the regulatory sense of the word due to its hybrid ancestry, with the exception of Britain. So this is uh, a great variety that you will not find uh, being produced uh, commercially almost anywhere else apart from in the UK. And uh, I think Peter was the pioneer uh, growing Save Our Blanc. Now the wine is uh, bottle fermented, so made um, in the same, uh, same fashion as champagne and all the finest sparkling wines. Uh, and that has why it's got such a lovely fine mousse. Look at the bubbles on that. You've got a very, very pale straw color, um, greenish hints to it lovely fine bubbles rising up through that. Now this was made in from the 2014 harvest so it's had quite a few years uh, aging on its lees before it was disgorged last year and released um, and that is evident in that classic um, fresh bread smell um, toasty aroma that you get at first sniff. Now Behind that obvious, uh, what we call autolytic character, obvious bottle fermented sparkling wine character, there's a lovely greenness to this wine, a really fresh um, citrus aroma. And a little bit of green apple as well. really fresh, bright acidity. Um, it, it wakes your palate. There's, the fruit is somewhere between green apple and freshly squeezed lime. But there's a, there's a richness behind that and that, uh, that yeasty, uh, bready character comes through on the finish as well. Very, very clean. Very long finish. It's Friday. 
it's fish and chips and this is the perfect accompaniment this would work so well with uh, cod or haddock and chips I don't know what you're having for tea tonight but I think I've just decided <laughs> cheers <laughs>